So I originally had made a video um, for this. This was a matching activity. And the purpose of the matching activity was something to do in class where you would take this and match it to the transformation and then match it to the graph, which is on your next page. Eight minutes into that video, it was a hot mess. So I abandoned it, abandoned it, and I made this worksheet. You have a PDF form of that. So what I, if you cannot print it, which is fine, get a white piece of paper and write all this stuff down. So pause the video right now and copy that stuff down. Trust me, it will help you. I color coded everything, okay? We're gonna go through each one and we're gonna do each of these things on here. We're gonna state the transformations, we're gonna name the type and we're gonna do the vertex. So let's zoom it in for the first one. First thing I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna name the type. When I'm naming the type, I am going to go to, let me find it in the packet. I'm going to go to this page in the packet where it says family of functions, and I'm going to use that to help me. Linear, quadratic, cubic, absolute value, radical, and rational. Okay? So I know that based on that page, it is a quadratic. So, I mean, so here's what might help. This is x, x squared, x cubed, absolute value, radical, and rational. Okay? So that might help if you printed it out. So quadratic. I'm actually going to state the vertex next. Why? Because I feel like it. The vertex. The vertex, if this is in vertex form, which they all will be, is a point where your x value is what's with the x and the y value is with the y. So if you look, there's only one number. It's not with the x. That means that goes right here to 0. Now, since it only has one number, there's only one transformation. Okay, I did it in blue because it's my y. So the first thing you're going to do is I kind of made this in order. Step one is you're going to decide if it's horizontal or vertical. If it's with the x, it's horizontal. If it's with the y, it's vertical. So it's with the y, so I'm going to go vertical. The next thing you do, and I, that's why I have this here, is you're going to decide if it's a translation or a stretch compression. If it's a translation, it'll be add subtract. If it's a stretch compression, it's multiplied. Okay? So it's being added, so it is a translation. So I'm going to write translation. Okay? And then I've got to figure out how many. I've got to either figure out that it's going left, right, up, or down. So let me point out, I should probably highlight that. If it's left or right, that means it was horizontal. If it's up or down, that means it's vertical. So I know it was blue, so it's vertical. It's a straight shooter, so it's going to be up two. All right, let's try the next one. The next one, what type of function? It's also quadratic. I'm gonna state the vertex. The vertex is what's with the x? And there is no y. If there is no y, that's a zero. Now, here's what I want you to see. Under my horizontal, look what I put. I put a little star here, and it means you always have to do the opposite. It's not a straight shooter. So when I see negative one, it's really positive one. Now I know that if it's pink, what's the first word I'm going to pick? Horizontal. Then I decide is it is translation or a stretch compression. It's being subtracted, so it's a translation. And then I've got to figure out, okay, is it up, down, left, or right? If it's pink, my options are left or right, but we always do the opposite when it's pink. So when we see minus one, we're really thinking um, plus one, so that's right one, okay? So something I'm gonna do here is H is pink, so you know, vertical, and then this has got to go right. I probably, should, I was not very efficient with my uh, highlighters, but that's okay. All right, let's do the next one. The next one, uh, I see it's squared, so it's quadratic. I'm too lazy to write it again. Now I need the vertex. There's nothing with the X. I know you see the negative, but it's what's being added or subtracted. All there is is something with the Y, okay? So it's zero comma one. So now I state that translation, uh, transformation, I should say, vertical. We know it's being added, translation. 
and then it's a straight shooter. So one, up. so that V, U. But we've got an issue now. The issue is we didn't acknowledge the negative. So if you look over here, what do I have? I have reflection. Reflection is when a negative is being multiplied. This negative is being multiplied because there's an imaginary negative 1 times x squared. That's kind of what I want you to see. Or negative 1 x squared. It means the same thing. So then I go reflection. And then is it over the x-axis or the y-axis? So reflection means you always do the opposite. My right eye and the reflection is my left eye. My left arm and the reflection is my right arm. So, is this with the x or with the y? Remember, how do you know if something's with the x? It's in parentheses, okay? So it's with the y, but when it's a reflection, it's really the opposite. So x axis, okay? Let me put this in yellow. I know I didn't give you much space. Sorry about that, but I wanted to take up one page. All right, let's do the next one. The next one, I've got two transformations. They are both on the outside which means they're both going to start with vertical. Okay, and by the way, it is quadratic. And the vertex, there's nothing being added here. So 0, negative 2. Okay, now, if I'm dealing with the 1 half, it's being multiplied. If it's being multiplied, it's a stretch compression. If it's greater than 1, it's a stretch. If it's between 0 and 1, it's a compression. So 1 half is between 0 and 1. So it is a compression. And look what I did here. I know I'm going back and forth. A compression by a factor of. So then by a factor of 1 half. So what does that mean? That means that if I was normally 6 feet tall and you vertically compress me, I'm now 3 feet tall. I'm half as tall. Vertical translation. two, down, okay, vertical, vertical, down, okay, all right, let's go to the next one, this one, it's got the bars, absolute value, find the vertex, not a straight shooter, when it's with the x, it's not a straight shooter, okay, now there's only one transformation since it's pink, horizontal, it's being added, translation, one, oops, now, if it's, am I going to use the words up or down? No, because that's blue. I'm only going to use the word left or right. Now, negative one means left, but the problem is you always have to do the opposite. So if I'm doing the opposite, it's minus one, really right one. Okay, let's do that. So it is horizontal and it is right. Okay. I'm going to skip this one for now because I don't care right this second. Let's go to the next one. All right. On the outside, blue. On the inside, pink. Absolute value. What's the vertex? Not a straight shooter. Nothing being added on the outside. Remember, when you're dealing with vertex, it's what's being added or subtracted. So let me put that even up here. So the vertex only deals what's being added or subtracted. Okay? All right, let's come over here. And I did that, so I have two transformations. I have a vertical transformation and I have a horizontal one. So let's start with a vertical. Why? Because I feel like it. I look. What is it doing? It's being multiplied. When something's being multiplied, it's a stretch compression. Greater than 1 between 0 and 1. Between 0 and 1, so compression by a factor of. Now, i got to tell you, I'm not going to do all these. We're going to die. So some of these are going to be questions that you're going to be doing on your own. Okay, And then this would be horizontal. Translation, um, one, oops, left, one. Okay, let me highlight that. Not a straight shooter. 
That's why it's left. Okay. Let's do this one. This one's a little bit more difficult. This one actually has four transformations. Okay. I'm just going to check on the time real quick. All right. So we've got a negative because it's being multiplied. Some of you go, no, it's not. It's with a two. Okay. If I had, let me find some scratch paper here. Of course, I can't find any. Okay, it works. If I have negative 2, that really means negative 1 times 2. The value of this number is 2. It just happens to be negative. Okay. Then there's this one. And there's this one. And there's this one. Okay. I don't have very much space, so instead of writing out the words... I'm going to just put the first letters. If you just put the first letters, you'll get it marked wrong. Okay? So I'm going to make, I'm going to go in order. I'm going to go yellow, then I'll deal with that blue, then I'll deal with the pink, and then lastly, I'll deal with the blue. Okay? So reflection, and then what is it over? Well, it's with the Y, but a reflection is really the opposite. So it's over the X axis. Okay? Um, next, I go to the 2. Okay, vertical. Vertical, what is it? It's being multiplied. Stretch compression. So it's going to be a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. Stretch because it's greater than 1. This one, pink, horizontal, being added. Translation. And then what does that mean? Right or left, not a straight shooter. So plus 2 really means minus 2, left 2. This one is a straight shooter at being subtracted, translation, um, down one. So let me point out, that's blue, blue, pink, left is always being used, and down is being used. Okay, let's go to this one. This one you will do um, on your own. So what I want you to do first is name the type of equation. Oh, actually, I'll do this one, okay? So we'll do the first one. This is called a radical equation. State the vertex, negative 1, 0. This should all be no problem to you now. If it's a problem, you need to text me, okay? Let's do the transformations. How many transformations are there? There's a reflection. It's with the y, which really means it's with the x-axis. Because I'm dealing with the reflection. It's not radical, it's reflection. This is horizontal. And then translation, because it's being added, but plus really means minus, so left one. Okay. I don't care about this one. This one you're going to do on your own. So right now I want you to name the type of function. I want you to state the vertex. I want you to state both transformations. This one. All I want you to do is tell me how many transformations there are. Don't tell them to me how many transformations are there, okay? This one, okay? What is the type? What is the vertex? What are the two transformations? This one, I want you to state the vertex, and I want you to state the transformations. This one, what I want you to do is I want you to do the type. I want you to state the vertex. I want all three transformations, and this one you skip. 